During qualifying for the 2022 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Mick Schumacher suffered one of the most painful-looking crashes in Formula 1 history. He was attempting to hustle his Haas VF22 into Q1 at the tricky Jeddah street track during F1's second visit to the newly constructed street track. Being the fastest street track in the world and with the concrete walls so close all lap round, one small mistake can be extremely costly. Suddenly, while on a flying lap, Schumacher lost control of his car on a curb. And out of nowhere, it snapped violently and threw him into the concrete wall at 170 miles per hour. The impact was so severe that one side of the car was completely destroyed, and Mick was unable to get out of the car for several minutes. Oh, what oh. We'll just leave it there as Mick Schumacher hits the wall. Oh. Two tyres coming loose as he hit the wall as well, and that is the second red flag of this session. He was taken into an ambulance to the medical center and escaped uninjured, but was unable to race the next day. That's what happens when your crash registers a force of over 60 Gs. By the way, if you'd like to see more of the best motorsports content just like this, please consider liking this video and hitting